Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR game here called Hockey Player VR. Now, this is a big one because I have always hoped for an actual VR hockey game where you can actually move around and you get a stick and you can just play like real hockey because there's been a lot of goalie games. A lot of there's one game where you actually get a stick, but it was just like drills, and I don't I don't think you ever moved around in that game. You just take shots, but in this one. With the trackpad, you can skate around. As you can see, I've got my skates down here. There's even a sound effect if you listen. Pretty awesome. And I really, so I kind of toyed with the game a little bit. And I really, really wanted to like it. But the controls are pretty difficult. Now, where it shines is in multiplayer, which I haven't even gotten to try yet. Because before, I, it kind of bugged out on me when I tried the game earlier. But now it appears to try and find a game when I actually hit multiplayer at the menu. But basically, you hold the, down the grip button to grab your stick with both hands. Because if you don't, you just have it in one hand. And the, the, the reason why it's hard is because it's hard to control... Take a shot there. To control the puck while you're moving. And, you know, they call it dribbling in soccer when you're moving with the ball. You know, and I don't know the proper term for hockey, but... It's super hard to do that because you lose control. Like I'm trying to move and then it goes behind me, you see. So I was wondering if they added some type of like uh, dribble. I'll call it dribbling for the sake of simplicity. Dribble assist where like it, it kind of sticks to you as you move. So it's, oh, here I'm doing pretty good. Oh, no, not really. And you could strafe. Oh, there we go. But anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time messing around here. There's some targets on this goal. Because I do want to try and hopefully find a multiplayer game. No promises though. Um, I checked briefly and there was like three people playing. You could do one on one. You could do two versus two. And the goalies are AI. As you can see. Like no one's controlling that dude. And uh, I guess I'll try and take another shot here. Maybe I'll try a slap shot. The physics of the puck are very good. As you can see it even stands vertically. No one saw that. You guys did not see that. Edit, edit. Oh, wow. It clinged against the post. There's also a quick turn, by the way, with the right track pad. Now, you have to stay in the same spot because if I leave my spot, I'm not centered anymore in my skates. And I don't remember if there's a way to reset the camera, the middle. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to just stay right here to keep it simple. Not mess anything up. Oh, in the face. And as far as I know, I don't think like two people, like your buddy and yourself can play against AI opponents. I saw people in the discussion boards asking for that. I don't think you could do that yet based on the little settings that I glimpsed at briefly. I'm trying to score here just at least once. He scores. That's it. I don't know if there's a way to uh, reset the puck. The pu Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy. I think it just glitched out and went shooting like 100 miles per hour. But yeah, this is the first official VR hockey game that's the closest to real hockey. Uh, and it's, it's impressive. Just like I said, the controls are nothing to, um, wait, I'm off-centered here, hold on. Yeah, the controls are tricky, This is like I said before. Let's try a far shot. You can kind of control it with one hand. See, I'm only using one hand, but it's a little, you have to use both for some better control. He shoots, he scores. Oh, see, that was a good flick. That had some good strength to it, just off on the aim. And when it's vertical like this, you can do a slap shot and I think get it in the air pretty well. Yeah, see? Wow, that could have hit a target. Look, it's even got the blue line, like a real hockey rink. Also, I wondered why, I don't know, maybe they thought of this. It seems like the type of game where if you let go, once you move, that you would kind of keep drifting a little bit like you're on ice. 
Like, I wonder if they thought of that, because that would have um, not only feel more immersive and realistic, but it also might reduce the chances of motion sickness. Because looking down and doing free locomotion like this can get, get one woozy. Yes. All right. All right, let's try multiplayer. All right, so we're going to hit multiplayer. We do one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two. -on -two. Scissors three in North America. Let's try two-on-two. -on -two. <gasps> Join. <gasps> oh, client disconnected. Oh, it went back to the... Client disconnected. All right, let's try 1v1. Here we go. Oh, wow, this looks different. There's cones. Oh, one of two players connected. Huh, I don't know why it's kind of like a drill scenario here. Dude, yeah, right. This would be so hard, like trying to go between these cones. Okay, you can't knock them down. Uh, okay, unfortunately, I don't know. This doesn't look good. Definitely, it's the type of game where you want to plan out with a group of friends. Like, hey, let's play because quick, quick matching... You know, in VR games, most VR games is not, uh, it's very hard to find players to play with. See, I'm off centered here. That was my best shot of all time. Or maybe this is just a practice, uh, scenario until someone joins. Oh. 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 All right, well, unfortunately, this isn't looking good for finding a multiplayer game, but I have read that that's where the game shines, and it had a 90% positive review score on Steam in the reviews, and I think that was with 10 total reviews at the time, so I don't know if it's changed. Yeah, Quick Turn is actually huge, because if I turn physically, oh, no, it falls in my headset. Of course. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe it would uh, make my feet face the wrong direction. Yeah, slap shots are tricky in this game. I'm not really feeling the slap shot. There we go. Oh, off the post. He shoots, he scores. It'd be interesting to know if they ever allow for uh, player-controlled goalies. So you do like three versus three, and the goalie is an actual player. Or maybe um, have a mode where they disable goalies altogether, just so it's, there's more scoring, you know? All right, well, unfortunately, it's not looking good for multiplayer. <laughs> oh, that went out of the... Arena. Oh, there we go. I came back. Or not out of the arena, but out of the rink. Oh, that did as well. Bye-bye. Yes. Yes. Too hard. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little too good at that. Yes. Boom. That had to be one of my longest goals. There we go. I'm dribbling a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what you gotta do. You just use one hand and then shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh, that had some speed. Yes. This is good practice, at least. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to find a game. I wish I, I did, because like I said, that's where the game is apparently really fun. And I think the game was $4.99, so it's not that expensive if you want to try it out yourself. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, 
be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.